Let's just start off with the really basic stuff. The main way to get Shadow Dip, Golden Requiem, Crystallize, Star Platinum, King Crimson, White Snake, and the Nuclear Dude is by using the Normal Arrow. Use the Normal Arrow to get all of the stands and are considered the basic stands in the game. They are obviously the easiest to get. Now you can find the arrow for the stands on the mount. If you go towards the arena and from there go to the right, there are the meteors that spawn in the mountain and you can pick them up to get arrows. Omnitrix Ben 10 Now let's take a look at how to get the Omnitrix. In order to get the Omnitrix, head over to the mount near the beach and here you will find a meta meter that will spawn. It will say Alien Pod. All you have to do is interact with it and that's how to get the Omnitrix. Now here's something that you need to know. If you have a stand equipped and do not want to replace it, do not open up the meteor because it will just replace whatever you have, and if you say no, it will disappear. Just keep that in mind. Sans Xchara. Next we have the Xchara. To get this, you need to get the Sans Bone. To get this bone, you can buy it from the shop. Keep in mind that it is extremely expensive. It's better that you get this from someone else by trading. If you're wondering, the Sans Bone costs 150,000 coins. Now after getting the Sans Bone, you want to use X Soul on yourself, and this is how to get X Chara. White Snake, Sea Moon, The World Over Heaven. Now how to get these items. You first need to have White Snake, and once you do have the White Snake and Xiao Bone, you will be able to get Sea Moon. Once you get Sea Moon, you will need to take Dios Bone again and take the quest again, and that's how you get your hands on the World Made in Heaven. Star Platinum The World, SPTW. Next we will show you how to get the Star Platinum The World. So for this, you need to have the Star Platinum first, and after you acquire Star Platinum, you want to walk over to Jotaro and speak to him. Jotaro will take you on a quest, but you have to have Star Platinum and you'll need to have the hat. You need to find Hut Hat. His hat is a rare spawn which spawns around the map, or you can find it in a chest. His hat will drop, and you need his hat in order to do this quest. The Norm of the World To get to the Norm of the World is, you need to have a Shadow Dio. After you do have the Shadow Dio, you need to go to the woods, and here's a chance of a Shadow Orb spawning. It will have the name Him, and after you take the quest, the Shadow Dio equipped, it will take you to the world. So first, you need to get the Shadow Dio. You need to take the quest. It spawns around the trees in the wood. After that, complete the quests and you'll get blood. Just use the blood on your Shadow Dio, and that's how you get the world. Tusk In order to get Tusk and Dirty Deeds done dirt cheap, you need to head over to the mounds in the distance and dig it. Now once you're at the mount, hold E and it will let you dig it. Here there's a chance of getting a heart and D4C, and you'll also get the arm which will give you the tusk. The important thing to note is that this area will drain your HP and spawns are very rare. There are not too many frequent spawns in this area. Shadow the World Requiem To get this one, you need to find the Cursed Orb. The Cursed Orb has a percent chance to spawn in the chests that spawn around the city. There's just a 1% chance to get the Cursed Orb. But once you get the Cursed Orb, you could use it along with the Shadow Dio, and that's how you get the Shadow of the World's Requiem. Dawn Sword To get the Dawn Sword, you need to defeat the Dawn Boss. Another thing to note, in order to interact with the sword, you need to be standless. Goku Now for this, you need to find the 7 Dragon Balls. These are extremely hidden and hard to find, but one lies in around the houses around the map. That brings us to the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.